This past year, I wrote a book called The Rice and Beans Millionaire, The Tale of an Improbable Entrepreneur. It's, it's all based on real characters and true stories and stuff like that. And what happened to me, and I think a lot of people don't get this when they become an entrepreneur, there's mindset shifts that you definitely have to, you know, have to achieve. Like you can't, just doesn't happen naturally, right? It took a lot of years, you know, like I said, over 25 years of being an entrepreneur to, to get where I am today. And I think it's really important that, A, you understand the power of building a culture, building a team, and what that does in terms of creating scale. Secondly, you know, how to not take ownership of every single role, right? And I think, you know, as a new entrepreneur, that's gonna be her biggest struggle, and I gotta keep kind of reining back, said, no, this is, we gotta let somebody else learn to do this, because if not, you can't do all the roles. The, the, the value of an entrepreneur, and why I wrote the book, was I was sitting at, uh, at home, and my son wanted to play catch. And I said, let me just finish the email to a client. And he was off from school for some reason. And we started catching. I'm like, and I realized just the joy of having that freedom, right? That being an entrepreneur has given me all these years. I've missed very few games, very few practices, but we've had a great lifestyle because of that. And you can do that if you're willing to put in the hard work and take care of your customers and, and solve problems and, and fill their needs.